If you're like me and Halloween is one of your favorite seasons during the year, you're gonna love this project, I promise. Most likely, if you love Halloween, you've gotta love Hocus Pocus, one of the best movies to watch during this time. And in Hocus Pocus, they have this very important thing uh, to the movie, and it's the spell book. And I'm gonna show you how to make your very own Hocus Pocus spell book prop. Now, this doesn't look very much like a spell book at all yet. Uh, it still sort of resembles a cookbook with an eyeball glued onto it, but we're gonna transform this very quickly into something that you can use with your costume as a prop if you're dressing up as one of the Sanderson sisters or if you're decorating your house for Halloween, it would be very fun to have around as one of your decorations. You need to find a big fat book approximately the size that you would like your spell book to be. And um, as you can see in the footage that's coming up after this, you'll see that I started on this actually in our Colorado home. Uh, and I ran out of time and then I brought this back in my suitcase. You can see that I have one of the very first steps I keys to this, which is actually paper towel. Paper towel is gonna to mimic our human skin. I know it's creepy, but we want it to look pretty authentic to the original spell book in the movie. Um, and I basically can see just roughly, I want it to still look like it was sewn on patches like the original spell book in the movie. And you're gonna to wanna, to, as the glue is beginning to dry, you wanna bunch up around where those stitches are. And that'll make it look a little more authentic when we stitch it together. The eyeball is very simple. These are ping pong balls I got at our local C, um, CVS. Um, and I imagine they were destined for beer pong balls. Uh, but I cut it in half and then painted an eye on, super easy. Um, and then I'm gonna start making the eyelid. You're gonna watch me. I already have two uh, layers of the eyelid on. It's super easy. You're gonna use Mod Podge. Um, and then we're gonna go to the next step. Now, you're gonna see me at some point, I'm gonna be aging these pages. You can see it actually as a cookbook, and you can still use it as a cookbook uh, if you so wish. Um, but I wanted to age up these pages so they look like they've been used and, um, you know, used as a spell book for a very long time, centuries and centuries, but it's Sanderson Sisters. So we're gonna actually use that with a tea wash. You can also actually water down your brown acrylic and wipe that on as well. So let's get started. Happy Halloween. of the spell book. Um, so thus far, I have finished the eye of the um, eyeball, the eyelid, I should say, right here. I have put the binding, I've made a thin binding to go 
uh, for the snake to lay on. Uh, I've made another foundation for this snake and this snake. And then you just kind of coil them in uh, to mimic the three snakes that are on the Hocus Pocus book. Um, and just have fun. They don't have to be perfect. I also used a very dull, um, it almost kind of has a broken tip pencil to mimic the scales on um, the snake to make it look a little bit more uh, believable. So we're gonna have a tour of that coming up as well. Where we are with the Hocus Pocus spell book is we have finally the binding going down the spine, um, just a slab of clay. Uh, you'll see me make a snake and I use a pencil. Where's my pencil at? Um, my pencil someplace, uh, but it had a broken tip and I just made like scale marks on the snake. Have fun with it. Don't take it serious. I'm sure it'll look fabulous however you make it. These are still wet. I'm letting them dry in position before I paint. Um, and now I'm making the buckle that goes around the eye. And I am going to be taking another little piece that's gonna sit like this on a hinge. So this will actually be able to open and close. So I'm working on that. You'll see me start to paint. Um, I'm gonna give everything a good coat of black first. Um, to get down in all those indentations. I'm going to let this dry a little bit. I'm going to come back and then we'll paint it together. All right. It's so much fun. I hope you guys are loving it. Pocus spell book. Um, it's such a beautiful day. Look at the sunshine here in October. Um, I put a big coating of black acrylic on everything and you can see as well I did my pages um, some with the burnt sienna and the black. I apologize again about the noise. It's green wood up there um, and I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna let it really dry. I glued down all of my snakes and the plates uh, that the snakes sit on etc. And I've given all my fingers that are going to hang on to the jacket uh, of the book uh, to mimic a hand um, in a burnt sienna. I'm going to let those dry and then I'm going to come back. I'm going to dry brush that black to give it the look of old skin, which is super creepy. I am going to, you can see that I removed the little lock that goes over his eye. Um, and I made a little mistake in what I was gluing, got a little zealous and glued that too. So I'm gonna have to remake that, but that's okay. Um, and then I'm gonna glue that to the hinges and I'll bring you guys along to see how that all goes together. And then we're gonna come back after this dries and I'm gonna really start working on the part that mimics the stitched skin, which is super gross. Uh, but I think it'll be a great spell book uh, uh, for uh, the homage to the Hocus Pocus spell book.
update on where we were. And again, sorry about the background, background noise, it's Greenwood. But I have all of the embellishments that I put on painted in black, and then I did an overlay of metallic acrylic just to make it look like it was silver, like gold silver on the book. Um, I did a, a base coat of the black again, overlaid that with the dry brushing of the burnt sienna, and now we're gonna do another overlay of a, um, it almost looks like a beige, just to give it a little skin look. forget it's all just a bunch of hocus pocus